Hi guys, welcome to Johnny Mathematics. Um, this is the second video in the Fractions series and as promised um, last lesson, um, here is a recap of simplifying fractions. So pause the video and attempt these questions please. So the answers are divided by 2 so of course what, what goes into the top and bottom is 2, 2 fits into 14, 2 fits into 16 did you get that one right? here 3 fits into that and 3 fits into that then of course it's 5, 5 fits into 25 and 5 fits into 30 6. 7. 7 fits into 14 twice. 7 fits into 21 three times. And of course we have an extension question here. I should have probably put a star next to it because it's quite hard. And you've got multiple different answers but there's only one that's the simplest. Um, you could have gone and it's perhaps the the um, the the easiest way is if you keep um, dividing by two. So eighteen over twenty four, um, nine over twelve. Then never forget the threes. People always forget the threes. Three fits into nine. Three three fits into twelve four times. Or we could have got there a few different ways. Of course, we could have got straight to the answer by dividing by 12. So 12 fits into 36, and 12 fits into 48 four times. Okay. Don't worry about the last question too much. It is an extension. Um, if you could do the uh, basic ones, um, that, that is a good place to start. So we're now going to uh, start the lesson, today's lesson, properly. And can you put the heading um, timesing fractions, please? So this is really quite easy um, in terms of fractions generally. Um, so, if I ask you a question like this, a half times a quarter, would you would you know what the answer is? Well, um, this this is my best explanation, but there's a very simple rule, and my best explanation is um, that is a quarter as we discussed last lesson, that's a quarter. So if I said to you what is half of a quarter, well, if that's a quarter, half of a quarter is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So half of a quarter is an eighth. So a very simple rule, um, you times the tops, you times the bottoms. One times one is one, two times four is eight. You times the tops, you times the bottoms. Right down under the heading, times the tops, times the bottoms. So, what would the answer to this one B. Yes, it would be um, 6 over 21. But did you spot that this will actually simplify? So again, what number goes into the top and bottom? It's that 3 again that people always miss. So 3 fits into 6 twice, 3 fits into 21, and don't forget to use your fingers, 3, 
6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. So 7 times. 2 sevenths. Times the tops, times the bottoms. If they will simplify, then simplify them. Here are a bunch of questions, and the last two or three are going to be quite tricky. I'm going to introduce a couple of new things and give it your best shot, um, and I'll explain them when we get to them. So, do these questions, please. Do set them out just like I've done in the example, please. do pause the video. Let's go over the answers. Um, the answers are 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, not 1 times 1 is 2. That's a very common um, error. Well done if you got that right. Again, 3 times 1, people often go 3 times 1 and they add them rather than times them. 3 times 1 is 1. 3 times 1 is 3, 4 fives is 20, 2 ones is 2, 2 over 14. Um, did you spot that that will simplify? So give yourself a little tick if you did that, but give yourself an even bigger tick if you simplified it. They're both still right, but that one's more right. Here times the top, times the bottom, 4 over 10, which is 2 over 5, little bit, bit tick, big tick. Here, don't panic, there's three of them in the line, um, just follow exactly the same rule, okay? So times all the tops, 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 4 is 24 and of course that's right give it a tick but that will simplify 3 or 2 goes into 6 3 times 2 goes into 24 12 and then you can divide by 3 again can't you little tick little tick bigger tick this one here, so I've introduced a squared, and um, do you know what to do when there's a squared? Well, what I suggest you do is whenever you see squared, is you write it out twice. And now, it becomes a straightforward question. So, times the tops, times the bottoms. The last question, have you any idea what to do there? Well, whenever you've got any whole number, 5, um, you can always put a 1 underneath it. Because five, 5 pounds divided by 1 person, well, you'd get 5 pounds, wouldn't you? So 5 over 1 is the same as 5. Then we just times the tops and you times the bottoms. Don't worry about the fact that the number on the top is bigger than the number on the bottom. That is not a problem at all. We're going to talk about that in later videos. Okay. So these last three were, were kind of tricky. Um, if you got the main core of this right, 
and you're starting to simplify, then I would say you're doing you're doing pretty well. Uh, well done. That was that was times in fractions. Remember, times the tops, times the bottoms. The next video we're going to be going on to um, adding and taking away fractions, which is a little bit trickier. Um, thank you for listening.